so I am doing a few videos on some of the indie fragrances that I have been trying out lately. Um, I've got um, someone gave me a couple of things from Sinus, but I want to order more from them, so I'm going to hold off on that. And I also have something from um, a store in Apalachicola that's like a soap store, but they sell they, some fragrance oils as well. So I'm going to hold off on that too because I'm going to probably get a couple more relatively soon. Um, so I'm going to start with Smell Vent. And um, I have had these for a while. Um, I think the first two are from last year's Halloween collection, so they're not available anymore. But I really, really like them, so I still wanted to talk about them. Um, so I ordered the pair from last Halloween, and that is Scaredy Cat and The Fall. Um, they're both very different from each other, and I really like them both. I am looking down at my tablet to read off the notes because I don't remember them exactly. You can still find the um, information on Now Smell This um, if you just even search for um, Scaredy Cat um, Bent. It'll come up on nstperfume.com. Um, so Scaredy Cat is, let's see. Yeah, Scary Cat was really uh, fruity for me, but not in an overly feminine way. I would say these are both very unisex. Um, it is got some woody base to it, an apple, plum, copal incense, sweet woods, and vintage red musk. I do like a red musk. That is the musk that works best on my skin. And the fall, to me, is much more woody. Um, it is has got a smoky incense base. Uh, smoky incense wood base and um, aged copal incense as well white oak amber and scent of smoke in the fall air so not sure what they used to make that note but it smells really good i like both of these quite a bit i have the really tiny sizes because i'm trying not to buy big sizes of anything anymore because i have too much crap so this is the fall and this is scaredy cat super cute and the next one is um, actually I didn't order this one it was added to my order um, I guess to try it I don't know but I appreciated it I'm glad they sent it along it is smoked ambergris really really simple label on that one and uh, it is just described as a musky ambergris fragrance. It is gray ambergris with a billow of smoke, faded jasmine, and expensive musk. This one I have to wear in small amounts. I think this would actually smell better on my husband. I do like it on myself, but definitely in colder weather, which doesn't happen very often in Florida. Um, the other one that I chose was Bollywood or Bust, and it seemed like it would smell similar to another fragrance that I have, that I would like to try to replace that's discontinued, something I used to like a lot, so it seemed like it would be similar to that. So, let me get you the notes on that one. It's not quite incensey enough to kind of take the place of the other fragrance that I was talking about, but it's so good. I think it's my favorite out of all of these. Um, it's described and as a sandalwood rose. It has a blend of ro red rose absolute, um, robust sandalwood, and rich savory spices. Anyway, I do want to try more from Smell Bent, so if you've tried them, let me know what you think and what you enjoy from them because I'd really like to get a few more to try them out. I enjoy them a lot and I highly recommend trying them out as well. The quality of the fragrance of the juice inside the bottles is amazing. Um, the packaging isn't anything uh, fancy. I think it's cute. Um, but yeah, so don't let that deter you because I think the quality of the fragrances themselves are really, really good. They have really great ingredients. They have really great aged ingredients and really it's just really high quality stuff um, again highly recommend them and please tell me if there is anything that you've tried from them that you suggest or anything that you're interested in trying from them because 
I'm definitely interested in trying more. Um, yeah, that's all. And uh, I'll be back again really soon with another, um, I guess, overview of an indie house that I tried.